Nothing at all. We just liked it. We just liked it. If I can do this, it's probably not solid bronze. No, I didn't think so either. No? What's it made of? I don't know. You just liked it, so it was okay that you spent your money on something you just liked. How many of you buy stuff that you don't like? None of you. Right? You don't go over to the local furniture store and you see this hideous purple sofa. That's awful. That's ugly. I hate it. Wrap it up. <laughs> you don't do that. We all buy what we like. Was it a bargain? She bought it for like $15 or $20. Was it a bargain? I don't know. I'm going to say it was. Okay. This particular piece is made about 1900. It has a foundry mark on it from New York City. It is spelled bar, which is a base metal, and then it is patented or colored on top. It's worth about $250. Now, was it a bargain? Yeah. Would you trade it for the lily pad piece? No. no. All right. Now, mom keeps it where? She puts it on a plant stand in the living room. Oh, plant stand, that's nice. How does she know that this particular piece is made of what's called spellfar, or a base inexpensive pot metal? A conglomeration of lots of metals coming together in terms of sculpture. Because it's all about the base, about the base, <laughs> right? Right here it tells you. If you have a base that in fact has some kind of stippling, or some kind of texture, usually you have a pot metal and not bronze. Bronze would usually be smoother and much, much heavier. Pam would be proud of this, but not that much weight to it.